Hey guys, welcome back. This is Todd Johnsonbaugh here at Deb's Chiropractic giving you more great exercise advice. Remember, if you have any questions about any of the exercises that we show, again, these exercises are not a substitute for healthcare advice, but you can reach out to us here, or you know, if you have a good relationship with your, your provider already, you can see if these exercises can move you and your health forward. So without further ado, here are the foam roll exercises. This is a tool that's been out and been very popular for about the last 10 years, but people have a lot of questions about how to use it. Uh, our patients every day ask about exercises and how to use exercise to move their health forward, and this is a tool that can help you move forward. In general, when it comes to using the foam roll, remember you're not gonna use it really on really swollen areas. You're not gonna use it directly on bony areas, and areas especially like that are uh, that have varicose veins or anything that might be inflamed or infected, please do not put direct pressure on those areas. Those areas need to rest. But for those tight knotted areas, the foam roll is a great tool to help you, again, move forward. So here's how we start to use the foam roll to help relieve tension around our back and especially our hips. So here's a foam roll right through here. And I can just turn onto my side a little bit and I can just roll out the tension in my gluteal region here. I can turn more into it to get more pressure right where I need and I'm right on the meat of the muscle and I'm just moving forward. As I feel more comfortable, I can move my body into it more and you can see how I'm lifting my leg to kind of really just get that point there. As I feel even more comfortable, I can unweight more pressure and I can put my whole body on that point right through there. I'm going to continue now, and I can do that for up to a minute, and I'm going to move forward and now work my hip flexor insertion way deep in there. It looks a little awkward here, and I apologize. I'm going to move the foam roll out towards you all, and I'm going to get right in through there. And I'm going to work that hip flexor out. I'm making sure not to smash any sensitive areas, and I'm working my hip flexor right through here. And again, again, I'm trying to stay off bony areas or any areas that might be really sensitive to pressure. Then I can take my leg and get my inner thigh right through here and go through here, working that inner thigh out that gets so tight. And that, that feels really good as well. I can continue rolling around, moving around, and I can now work my hamstring as well. Starting here and working this way. As I feel stronger, I can use, I can put my weight here, and I can become very dynamic with these exercises, really moving fully. So that works the whole hip area out. Pressure on the low back itself can be tough and can be uncomfortable when you're really hurting. So I say go into this slowly. Sometimes people will use the foam roll even on the wall instead of directly doing this. If my back was really inflamed, I would not be doing this at first. But I can use this if my abs are feeling good and I can roll out my back. This is a more advanced exercise right here. I really recommend you ask your provider if you're a good candidate, especially at this level. This is more for, hey, you're feeling pretty good. You got some knots in your back. This is not for when your back is acute. All right, and that concludes exercises that would be really good for hip pain and for low back pain. Yeah, there's more areas that we can work on for that area, but now we're gonna go on into the legs to work out those knots and then the lower legs. And then later on is coming the upper back and the arms.